this video I'll explain about the drawing of the square headed bolt and nut when we across corners when you across corners you can see only two faces these two faces so this is what chamfer circle having a diameter of 1.5d plus 3mm this is nominal diameter of the bolt this is root circle that is diameter is 0.9d if you project this you will get this one that's what thread circle 0.9d this is from here to here is length of the thread that depends upon length of the bolt if length of the bolt is less than 150 then you should take b equal to 2d plus 6 mm if it exceeds 150 then you should take 2d plus 12 mm from here to here is length of the bolt usually that is given in the question paper if it is less than 150 then it, it plays a very role next so this is thickness of the bolt at 0.8d this is thickness of the nut 0.9d if you project the edges you will get this one thickness of the bolt head similarly thickness of the nut head this is nominal diameter for that I will circuit into drop mode and select sketch under that select the polygon here I am drawing the square headed bolt and nut means you can select four sides number of sides are four select new polygon place this is square in such a way that this is vertical means when you across the corner only this is 1.5d I will take diameter equal to 25 plus 3mm with the same center I will draw nominal diameter of the board that is 25mm okay. next I will draw one center line with any length next I'll project these edges yeah so but this width is 0 0.8d this is thickness of the bolt at 0 0.8d I have taken diameter as 25 so 0 0.8 star 25 now I will project nominal diameter using mirror entities select this line about this axis using trim entities trim this portion like zoom to fit now draw one vertical line to indicate length of the bolt as 120 mm you can take 100 also now using trim entities you can trim this portion similarly next draw one more projection of this one in such a way that this is 0 0.90 thickness of the nut head is 0 0.90 0 0.9 diameter is 25 and also maintain the distance between this edge and this edge is minimum 20 mm next I will draw length of the thread length of the thread using trim and take just date extended portion length of the thread from here to here is 2 D plus 6 mm if less than 150 okay. next I'll draw thread circle make it horizontal okay from here to here is so this is 0 0.9 d I'll take half of that means 0 0.45 d using trim entities trim this portion now using mirror entities select this line control select this line Sorry. using mirror entities select this line control this line about this center line okay 
so this is what thread diameter now I'll draw one line here this is 0 0.1 d into 45 degree from here to here I'll assume 0 0.1 star 25 2.5 and I'll join these two points or you can trim this extended portion you'll get exact end point from this point to this point similarly from this point to this point using trim entities trim this portion similarly here also trim this portion let's zoom to print now I'll draw these arcs. You are having a common procedure for this one. First, this from this point draw a 30 degree line with respect to this center line. Similarly, mirror this line about axis. Okay. Next, one more draw one more line here. Extend this one. extend this inclined line now trim this line and center to this is 30 degree ok now using center point arc or else from this intersection just draw one or you can trim this portion you get exact end point from this point draw one horizontal line using trim entity extend this next using center point arc this point as a center this as a radius draw one line up to up to this point or else you can draw up to this point using mirror entities mirror that arc about this axis line next select these two select mirror about this axis line ok similarly you can draw the same profile here also from this point draw 30 degree line similarly select this line mirror about this axis line okay. next from this line draw one that will be line here you just extend this, that line extend this, that, this line trim this portion Let zoom to fit. Make the angle between this and this should be 30 degree. Okay. Trim this one edge to get exact end point using center point arc. This as a center, this as a radius, or else draw one horizontal line here. Trim this portion using center point arc this point as a center this as a radius draw one arc up to this end point mirror about this center line ok select this about this axis line ok select zoom to put so this is what the completion of the uh, square head board so we left only thread circle the thread circle is 0 0.90 0 point 0 point 90 you can have only three piece view you can extend this center line trim 
extend the center line trim only this way so this is what third circle make it dotted 